I think in uh, 2020, the uh, the most pressing challenges really are around customer experience uh, and business model transformation. Uh, we're seeing you know, huge amounts of evolution uh, take place um, in the market at the moment. Um, and there's kind of two types of companies that we're working with. There's startups that are wanting to launch new services very quickly, very cost effectively. Um, and then there's uh, traditional uh, enterprises that have very complex uh, environments and they're looking to streamline those, provide a much better customer experience and transform their business model. Transformation is really you know, not what we look at uh, doing with customers. We're working with our customers um, to help them adapt and build a digital business model. Um, transformation implies that you go from state A to state B. Um, and, and that never really happens because we're always continuously evolving. Um, so what we work with our customers on is more of a digital business evolution uh, uh, as part of transformation that allows them to get quick wins uh, using digital technologies rather than wait for the traditional five year trap of spending lots of money and actually getting no return on it. So I think customers these days are, are much more savvy. Um, you know, they're used to um, the, the worlds of the likes of Amazon and Netflix and Uber that, that do provide, you know, really you know, top quality customer experience. And they expect that when they're engaging with their, their telecom provider as well. Um, so, you know, when you have customers that are used to a good customer experience in, in one, uh, one way, and then they get a bad customer experience with, with their operator, um, they're naturally going to switch very quickly. Um, so it's really important that um, you know, when we're working with our customers, we help them organize their systems um, and especially the behind the scenes systems so that they can provide that top quality customer experience. First and foremost, um, the operator needs to focus on getting their 5G network up and running um, and providing that data pipe um, that can then provide all the services over. Um, but I think especially more in the 5G world than any other you know, releases of 3G or 4G, uh, what we'll see with 5G is it's more about an ecosystem of partners that will come together um, that will then serve in customers. Uh, and I think it's important that when we're working with our, our customers, we enable them to, to monetize that ecosystem that we've built up around 5G. I think um, you know one of the things that we've um, seen across, uh, especially in some markets in which we, we serve, um, there, there's still a large amount of fraud happening um, in, in uh, networks, especially with uh, IP bypass, uh, especially on international uh, calling. Um, so you know, reducing fraud and uh, um, returning that revenue to, to the top line um, is, is really important. Um, and especially with our other international operators, we, we see a lot of opportunity there. As we already talked about, CX or customer experience is really important um, because you know, bad, providing bad customer experience, um, you're going to be losing customers very quickly, especially in those early days. Uh, the cost of acquiring uh, new customers is typically quite large. So it's really important that we provide that really great customer experience um, and using technologies such as um, you know, messaging, um, uh, journey orchestration, um, navigating that customer through their, their first bill, uh, when, when they get their, their first bill to understand what it looks like, um, and then reducing the number of calls that come into a call center. So by enhancing the customer experience using digital tools, um, you're able to actually keep those customers that you've acquired, which is obviously helping your, your top line, but also reduce costs out of that customer acquisition process.